People talk yeah, about this. It come with being famous. <laughs> okay, shout out to the minister. Shout out to the minister. But look at that video and look at what he's talking about. This is why they don't like him. This is why they actually accuse him of being, you know, anti this, anti that. He just tells the truth. All right, that's all he's doing. So this kind of points to this thing that we need to be. So I look at it like this. It's, it's, it's not only just time to separate. It's time to separate, like, as a collective. The, the cooperative, the, the constructive, productive black men with cooperative women with foreign communities, like everybody else gets to do. I'm not saying we need to you know, separate out of America, what I'm saying. I'm saying that we do need to be interdependent. There's a difference between independence and interdependence, meaning that you're separate, but you work with other groups on a friendly basis. Everybody else gets to do that. Black men need to do the exact same thing. I'm at the point now where good fences make good neighbors. And when people go, well, that's going back to segregation. And don't you want to be separate? We undo all the stuff. Look, segregation did not, you know, se what do you call it? Integration did not help black Americans. It definitely didn't help black men. All right. Hey, I, I, I'm, we're starting to get to that point where we need to actually go back to that separate communities, doing what it is we're supposed to do, teaching our kids, bringing them up right. With with with, the, with an Afrocentric you know mindset curriculum and all this other stuff with our banks institutions schools hospitals all of that stuff right there co-located now we interact and we, in, we, we and, and we work with other groups on a friendly basis but you know what we need to do what everybody else does group economics keep other people out you know and and put in leaders who actually are going to support what black constructive and productive black men are trying to do. The one good thing is that now it's getting so bad that even other celebrities are looking at this and going, look, uh, LeBron James just put out a tweet. Uh, Nick Cannon is probably not the best guy to do it, but, you know, even the, they're starting to kind of push back on this. Like, come on now, you guys are making him do too much. It was one thing for the apology. It was, one thing that, you know, even the, the forced donation, you know, it wasn't a donation. It was a forced uh, 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 financial contribution. Call it what it was. So robbery, robbery. Yeah, so now even so, 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 so what that means because now celebrities are getting on board, black celebrities and black men, celebrities are getting on board. Then I submit that that needs to be a groundswell grassroots movement where everybody else is looking at this going, hey, Nets, you are doing too much. The dude already apologized. He's already done the training. He's already done a whole bunch of other stuff. He's going down this list. And now you're sitting here making this huge example for no doggone reason when, you know what, we could come back at you and, 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 and talk to you about this complex history that both groups have between each other. Let's talk about that. You want to talk about, you know, all of this, that, and the third, whatever, whatever. This is what, I, you know, I know at one point we had an anti-Black defamation league. I don't know if you guys are aware of that. And I, they, they seem to be kind of around, kind of not really doing anything. Uh, but at one point it was stronger, you know, obviously back in the day at the height of the civil rights movement and, and, and earlier, but that needs to come back too. Um, whenever something happens to certain groups of people, automatically they're already on it. They already got the messaging out. They already got, you know, the main, they already got the word out in the mainstream media all the, and everything. So we need to be doing the exact same thing. I, I look at the, basically they're giving us the format as to what we need to be doing when somebody comes against, you know, black men. And 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 if we got to do all of this stuff and jump through hoops and and perform, you know, again, negotiate the twelve trials of Hercules to get back in the good graces of society. Well, damn it, everybody else has to do the exact same thing. I'm always looking for where is this energy when people are when people are punching down on black men. That 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 to me is just so cowardly. I, you know. I don't well, mean well, you know, Kevin. Kevin, uh -huh. Kevin this, this is this is the thing. Black men. <laughs> need to do what other people do if it's effective. That's yeah. why I said we don't make this bigger than what it is. There's two organizations mm -hmm. that is doing the best they can to do a 2022 style butt breaking of two black men. Our response yeah. to these organizations yeah. as black men and those that who support black men, your response should be we buy nothing that has nets on it. We buy nothing that has Celsius on it. Even if yeah. it's a multiple team thing, if it has the nest or the cell phone, we don't buy nothing with that on it, nor do we support any of their home games. You watch yeah. the away game because their away game is somebody else's home game. So the, the you send a clear message that we support the, every team except those two. Now, absolutely, I agree with that. Yeah, black. There are black men. Like a, a movement right there in front of that arena every time they're even even whether they're practicing right. the games, all Got that it. stuff. Uh, but hold on, hold on. We, we real, quick, real, quick, real quick, real quick, real quick, real quick. 
Uh, brother Rob, the link is in the description. Of course, you can come up, brother. Of course, you can yeah, come man. up. Yeah. That can be uh, done. The link is now. in the description. But let me we, we, we get this project is three corporations, not two. It's three because once again, everybody wants to uh, make sure that, that those four letter words Jewish is ex exempt. But if they're the ones that so enraged and screaming for anti Semitic, but you like, like uh, Kevin C said, they want to punch down. I don't see them punching up at Jeff Bezos and Amazon, so they're part of this too. Because they're the ones part of but, but but this this is the thing. I don't care what they do to to, to Amazon. You see, it don't make me a difference. I'm looking at my book. What is my book? I really bring this fight to them. Kyrie did not bring yeah. this fight to them. They brought this fight to Kyrie. <laughs> No, no, I understand that. And the whole thing is, I need to look at who did something to me. Amazon didn't do nothing to me. But the who did thing, something to me? We're missing, the next. We're missing. It's, we're missing. Yeah, we're but, missing but you understand, Roger, there's, there's, there's a history in the first pattern. Of all, first, first no. of all, nothing's going to happen to Amazon because Amazon and, and the NBA are doing a deal for Amazon Prime for $1 billion for TV rights. So let's just move along. Nothing's going to happen to Amazon. Amazon yeah, we get that. We get that. Yeah. Pay, pay one billion. But so no, hold on, hold on, hold on. One second, but let, but let me say this: the thing is, black people get emotional sometimes when when stuff happens. We get caught up and we worry about too much. There is two organizations that did something to black men. Those so organizations are the New, New Jersey Nets and the Boston Celtics. We need there's, to. There's who who else are you saying did something? It's the Jewish Anti Defamation League. Also, they put yeah. out statements. No, no, no. no, 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 no. Hold, 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 hold. No, what people have been able to do because of the Nets and because of the Celtics is separate issues. You got to be smart with what you do. You only got it's, so it's, much it's, power it's, at the end of the day. It's not you only have different. so much power at the end of the day. We need to learn to use our power wisely. And the wise right. thing so, to do is, like I said, nothing with nets on it, nothing with Celtics on it. That all that paraphernalia should not be bought by any person that's black. You know what I'm saying? If you're a functional right. black man and you support functional black men, you shouldn't be buying any of this stuff, nor should you be buying tickets to their home games, nor watching it on television, because all these ratings and things like that, that stuff is counted. You do something where you show the impact. You show the message. Y'all, if you try to do too much at one time, your message is never going to be clear, which means you don't get a result. So my point, if I can just finish the point, because you have to understand there's two. And then once you understand there's two, you understand why this is happening to Kyrie. Because it, when Kyrie posts that, right, first of all, religion is the biggest business in the world globally. African Americans are only 13%. Black churches yearly pour, pour in $500 million of tax free money, gifted money. Now, if you, if, if what Kyrie posted is true and people are starting to believe that, you are changing the global shift of religion, which is, a, which is the biggest billion, a trillion dollar industry. America alone give, give Israel $81 billion yearly. Right. You're changing the landscape of, of religious and ethnos belief. Kyrie posted something, kicked a hornet's nest that he wasn't supposed to do. And this is why he's getting this holy hell rained on him. And the Nets is just a conduit from the Jewish uh, Anti-Defamation League. But make no mistake, there are two organizations after his ass. Hey, when you say this is bigger, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say this is too. Kyrie is is literally a, a, an example. He's basically a stand in for all black men. That's what but, that's but, what this really and, is. And, and it doesn't crazy. matter what we do, but you have to understand what's what. Well, who are the players? And those I are the it. two yep. players. I, I understand look, that. Look, what I'm saying look, is that this, this, basically this, this is supposed to be an example is, to all black men. You Negroes better keep your mouth shut. Do what we tell you to do. You better not resist in any way, and and you better not be trying to check us on how we check you. No, no, and, and, this, no, and this, this is and this is, this is, and so this is no, no. When look, people talk about bullying, when people talk about, people hey, talk about uh -huh. hey, hold on, hold on. Look, both y'all making excellent points. Points the difference unless you do stuff the right way. 
The only thing that matters is where you can create impact. I got you. I, I got understand. You. I you, America right, don't like you. me as a whole. America don't like me as a whole. So I don't have to start trying to bring everybody into this. I don't need to. Where am I going to make an impact? You make an impact by, first of all, we need to promote every black person now needs to see this film because we need to be able to make our own decision about why they even going at the main. That's number one. Promote the I film. Agree with that. Yeah. We yeah. all yeah. go see the film. That's what we need to do. Then, again, Celtics home game, Nets home games. All paraphernalia with their name on it. All that now needs to be ignored. You do something where you can create an impact. America don't like you, period. You can't take on America all by yourself. You need to do things that make impact. The reason they can do what they do in the Kyrie is because they're doing things that make impact. And we need to be smart enough to do the stuff that makes impact. I understand we all going to have opinions about stuff, but where can I make an impact? I That's what you. makes it right. different. Strategic. I understand. I understand. Yeah, it's just. But let me get a plug. Of, to, to, uh, oh, let, let well, finish what you're saying. Thing. Finish what you're saying, right. and then we're gonna give it to Brother Rob. Well, well do like oh, this. Up, Let's have it finish. Then, then like, oh, uh, go ahead, go ahead, uh, because you got yeah, I need prayer. So go ahead. I do agree to that. Well, let hot sauce. Kevin, I'm sorry, sorry, brother sorry. Go, ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, I right, so Kevin, all, brother. All, all I'm saying, before we can make a, a impactful point, you have to understand who your enemies are. And I'm saying these are the two. And then once you understand that, then you you start to make decisions on how to either defend the people who are attacking you, or or to attack the people that are. But you have to understand there are two different groups of people that are attacking Kyrie right now. So if you just attack one or defend yourself from one, you're leaving yourself open from the other. That's all I'm saying. And, and you know, what, real quickly, I, to I totally get that, but you, I can't fight America as a whole and all of America's attacking me as a black man. It's, Go yeah, ahead, Kevin. But, but right now, it's those two. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Roger. I don't, I don't disagree with you actually being strategic and and being very particular about where you actually, you know, conduct your strikes or your. Or, 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 or repulse these attacks. So yeah, you're, you're absolutely right about that. We do have to be smart about it. Now, the, the you know, I'm at the point now where if I could be all over the United States and just pop in and pop out, you know, I, you know I'm, I'm at the point now where I'm actually interested in being at the grassroots level on trying to do things like this because I, I'm, I'm, I'm getting tired of it. And we, and I, I'll, I'll go ahead and stop right there, but I'll, I'll let somebody else get in. But we, we'll go back, we'll come back to this later though. Well, right. we're gonna let brother Rob get in. And then we're gonna let uh Roaring Sun get in. So right. um good to see you, brother Rob. Good yeah, to see sir, you back, Roaring Sun. Go. Yeah, sir. Good to see you too, bro. Man, you know I be uh in, in the classroom when you on and that thing. So that's why I can't uh, really participate like during the school year. But uh, you know, respect to the brothers, y'all are making excellent points. Um, of course. You know, I talk about this at, at, in my classroom. I teach uh, U.S. history and uh, consumer ed. And so those things converge when we're talking about this. We Y'all kind of hinted at it, the bag that Kyrie is going to lose because he suspended for the five games and then he lost his contract with Nike. They uh, either suspended or canceled the release of his next shoe. It's so, suspended right now. He didn't lose the contract. It's suspended. That's actually right, okay. So that makes sense. So here it is, right? Uh, you know, and I and I agree with the brother that said that it's bigger than this. What it is is the system is playing out on a large scale in our face. What really prompted the backlash from Kyrie uh, just posting a link, right? was uh we all know it was kanye west saying you know what he said about small hats running the entertainment industry which is actually true they actually do run the entertainment industry and a large portion of the media literally what we speaking on right so that is a reality and what Roger is saying is right. We can't fight back against that because that's literally the medium that we use and to communicate. You know what I mean? So uh, I really like the idea of punishing the Nets, punishing the Celtics, you know, in the pockets in terms of giving them some backlash on what we think they doing to these two brothers, right? I don't think it's, uh, you know, 
inappropriate what any one of them did, but we do got to be responsible with what we post on our social media. You can't just post a link to a video and, you know, don't have nothing there. You know what I'm saying? That's irresponsible. And then if you take a look at the history uh, with Kyrie, you know, at one point he was talking about the earth was flat. Then he was saying that we aboriginal. Then when they interviewed him, he was talking about being African. And and then he posted a link to a Hebrew Israelite website. I mean, documentary. All the people <laughs> All the people are all over the place. You know what I'm saying? But That's all the people he's entitled to. So don't uh, knock it. All the opinions, all the opinions that he's entitled to as a man just like you. So we, therefore we should not knock him. I hate when I'm people not, do, he's a flat earth and if he, these are opinions. You 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 might have an opinion that the sky is purple. I right. might not like it, but it's and not so, for me, so to, that not is for me the, to do it. Let, let me continue. That is the space that we are in. Um, everybody believes that, uh, you know, everybody is entitled to all of these lofty ideas and, you know, and, and I guess you do have that right, right? But it's not conducive to the liberation struggle that we in, you know, just because, just because you believe in Jesus and he believe in Allah, what difference do it make? We are in a liberation struggle. It hasn't stopped. That's just the bottom line. You know what I mean? You know, uh, it, it, we got to be strategic. And, and Kwame Ture, he said it best. And I and I in here get a floor to somebody else, you know. But he said, right, uh, if you organize a little bit, you get a little bit done. If you organize a lot, you get a lot done. But if you don't organize at all, you don't get anything done. And so... You know, again, uh, the brother do has the right to grow in front of our eyes intellectually and all of these types of things. But he can't be the spokesman, right, for the black community. You know what I'm saying? Same thing with Kanye West. He has the right to be bipolar in front of our eyes and say he's been treated by a Jewish doctor. All of that shit might be true, right? But he can't be the spokesman for the black liberation struggle because the brother all over the place. We need sober, strategic thinking at this point. Like the brother said, it's an example. If you say something against the, the uh, Jewish population in this country, right? That ADL is coming after your ass. That's what it is. It is like, a, it's like mechanical in a way. You know what I'm saying? You say into something anti-Semitic, oh, they coming. That's what it is. And so we need a mechanism like that for the black community. And I'm going to fall back. And, and let me just say this real quick. And let me say this real quick, y'all. And, and y'all need to understand this. The worst thing you can do right now is to try to try to position black people versus Jews. And it's not even necessary. It's a totally unnecessary thing at this point. Number one, that's the fight you ain't prepared to win. And, I, and I've said plenty of times, why pick on people you can't beat? It makes no sense. But what we can do as a people is you can create change. And sometimes you got to do it over time. Over time. But we as black people should just be on code. We don't mess with the nest and we don't mess with the selfies. Now, if you start a position where we just on code and we don't mess with the nets and don't mess with the selfies, eventually black players don't even want to play for them. They'll go get drafted. And then when it's time for them to uh, get a contract, extension or something or, or uh you know what I'm saying? Well, they, they won't sign and then you know they'll they'll force start, they'll start forcing trades we ain't got to be big and posterous about this you just create the change you need and right now as black people you know and unless the net and or the sellers come out to apologize to us we just don't mess with them no more so over with you know what i'm saying you, we still watch the nba but as nba fans and new players that's come in over time yeah, we we don't sign with the, with the Nets. You you can sign for you when you first drafted in, but we don't re-sign with Nets because that's just something black people don't do. You got to make it that way, and then you start getting results. But if you're trying to go after too much stuff at one time, you ain't gonna get no result. It's that simple. At the end of the day, you cannot beat an army by yourself, and we need to remember that. But but go here, Warren, son. 
Greetings to you, Roger. Thanks for hosting this. Greetings to the panel and greetings to the brotherhood in the chat. Y'all really doing the Lord's work today. Uh, this whole Kyrie situation, ever since it came out, man, it kind of just, it had me, in, it was on my spirit, man, because I'm that brother didn't say nothing, man. <laughs> like, I was for Dale asked him, like, yo, what, why are you doing this? Why, why, why are you posting? Oh, man, I just translated my name and it came up to such and such and I put it in Amazon and this came up. That's all he said. They trying to put something else on him that he didn't say. So people accountable. I'm not necessarily a fan of shutting people down when they try to use their free speech. I don't want to use the word, but he didn't say nothing to shut him down for. I mean, he's literally he's just a man on a journey, man. Just let him take his steps. And if that is his belief, I, I put it to you in the super chat. If that is his belief, then you have a whole nother problem. If you, if you, the net, you got a whole nother problem in, in, its, in its entirety because now he has an EEOC complaint. So EEOC also covers religious freedom and, it, and is indeed his religion. Then you just persecuted him for it in public and made statements about it. So now you have a problem if you're the organization. So I hope for to God he consults an attorney on this and I hope they give him some real good advice. I mean, he's gonna have to go through the administrative steps. Like he's gonna have to ask uh, the, the HR people, hey man, can you just reconsider? Can you can we appeal? And I hope they're stupid enough to say no so he can take them all the way to court. I mean, from a strategic perspective, we got to be strategic. We don't got to announce all our moves, of course. I will say that there are some black owned businesses that own shoe companies or that are upstarts that are trying to do that. They make athletic wear, some of whom are owned by athletes. And uh, there are also leagues coming about like the big three. I mean, I suggest he, he looks at some of those options if he don't want to go overseas. Uh, but this one was really on my spirit and I just had to say something and I mentioned it in the chat too, and we guess we can shift to the uh, Ime Adoka piece too, but I don't understand, like how much money does a black man have to make, you know, to really speak his piece on certain issues, man. I, Jalen Rose, this brother here, I don't, I don't get him sometimes. I mean, I support him when I can, I support his show. I understand he got a school trying to teach young brothers. So I, I, I give him credit there. Uh, but this man makes a pretty decent amount of money. I ain't counting his pockets or nothing. He played for the league in the league for like 13 years. So, he, you know, he did his thing there. He got his contracts there. But I mean, you're getting slaps on the wrist, getting buck broken in public. You can't speak your mind on certain issues. I don't know if her name needs to be leaked to the public per se, but his name shouldn't have been leaked with what he did. That was an HR matter that was supposed to be handled in house. You weren't supposed to know what he did. If you suspended him, you just say, hey, he's suspended for the year for whatever. You don't even have to say what he did. You just say he's suspended, and that's an internal matter that we'll handle internally. You don't say, yeah, man, we suspended him because he out here running through hoes in, in, in the organization. He got an EEOC claim, too. He got an EEOC claim, too, coming, too. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He got a claim, hey, he got a claim hey, open. Hey, hey he fellas, take fellas. This. I, I respectfully disagree, right? And this is why, right? Okay. Yeah, go they, ahead. They, they, uh, M.A. Udoka, uh, first year coach, led a legendary sports franchise to the championship his first year. He's in a very public position. And this brother, we got to be honest, right? And, and real. This brother did something egregious. He slept with the vice president's wife. Facts. Facts. So he did something. So let's be let's he be real. Now. Let's he be real now. Him. And a he's the head coach of the Boston Celtics. And he's nailing the vice president's wife. It had he didn't to be at the basketball game. And, and got it. Where's the cosmic to enter? And, and saying no. He, they no, might, the might be consenting adults. But there is but a level of morality. Defend, we cannot defend that in public. Do you see what I mean? Oh, I'm yeah, not yeah, defending like that. That level of morality <laughs> only consists around the game. Yeah, 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 
Hey, guys, guys, this is Roger. Hold on, hold on. Number one, y'all know I don't like false narratives. I understand what you're saying, Brother Rob, but that's not the truth because we don't know it to be the truth. At, at this point, no, no, at this point, the woman is unnamed by the Celsius organization. We can yeah. believe as much as we want to that it is that particular person's wife. We don't know that until they say that. So number, well, so we, the we, problem, we the problem is not what he did. The problem is the fact that they didn't put her name out there too. When you put him out there and you said what he did, you had to do the same thing for her because we're black men and that's what's called being fair. We, we're not against fair. What we're against but, is people were trying to lynch us, period. And when you did what you did as the organization, you put MAU Doke out there to be lynched, period. If they would have done what's fair and said these two people who work for our company did something and they're, and they're suspended for it, that would have been fine and good. But the Celtics have not done that. Y'all can believe all day that, that it was some vice president's wife. And I understand there's conditions around it why it's easy to believe it. But you got to hold the Celtics account uh, accountable for not saying that. Because mm. if they said what MAU Doka did, then they got to say who it is. Or they should have just kept it to themselves. You you could have suspended like him without saying what the, what the situation was. That's just a fact. They, you didn't they, have to they say who it was. They could have said that. Let me say this. Let me say this. Let me say this. You all hear me? Hey, 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 hey y'all. Black Uru, Black Uru is talking. Anybody on my channel who was born in 62 above gets elder privilege. Uh, the only other people person up here that even got privilege is uh hot. Well, uh, J Rose, I 81. I am, I am a professional in this area. They could have suspended him for a violation of company policy without at all referencing to what it was. Agreed. Yeah. There they you go. definitely could have done that. So providing the details about what he did without providing details about what that other person did who also violated a company policy, and you know that other person violated a company policy when they expressly said that 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 it was a consensual relationship. They did not say it was sexual harassment or sexual coercion or quid pro quo job for for sex. No, they said it was a, a consensual sexual relationship, which means both of those people violated the company policy. Right. So just as they decided to not reveal that other person's name, they could have done the exact same thing with, with Udoka, said for violation of company policy, it is our policy not to reveal the details about such, and they could have left it at that. They chose uh, not to do that. They were well, one I wanna, I could respond there there was that. nothing legally requiring them to announce specifically what he did. Well, the issue, I think the issue that uh, Brother Rob and I have is not the fact of how how they release the information, right? Yes, they should have did that. And normally it is done like that, right? For undisclosed reasons, we decided that we're letting him go or moving on from him based on violation of a contract, penal code, whatever, right? Yeah, company Fine. policy. On yeah, Company policy, right? He, he Breach of contract and let it be that, right? Normally they just say breach of contract and, and it is what it is. However... That is one thing, but to but <coughs> to sit here <coughs> and say that we need to kind of stand by this guy who's fucking married women, that's a whole nother ball game. That's a whole nother ball game. And I know the well, response but, but here's here's the problem. Here's the problem. Let me finish. Let me finish. I know the response is gonna be is that we do not have uh it is not publicly stated that. The woman, the consensual, whatever. What, 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 no, no, hold, hold on, because 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 that's a false yeah, narrative. We're not we're we're not standing by a guy who's uh, who's having sex with married woman. We're standing by the oh, fact God. that a black man is being punished by himself 
for breaking yeah. the company policy. That's two and, different and, things. And, and, and Jalen Rose's response, he said it, it, when he was, co in my view, he was coerced. He was coerced to say that later yeah, we, yes. that he, he apologized.